Hello? Sorry, excuse me. I'm busy. You accuse me of blackmail. And? Why would you say that? I also accused you of being a two-faced chancer, and here you go again as a butter would melt. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, slipped your memory, did it? Let me remind you, all right? If Wayne didn't sign off on Ray's driving lessons, then you were going to tell Ray that Wayne pretended to be him to the guards. Ring any bells? But I didn't. Didn't say that? No. Mm. Well, yes. But I didn't mean it. Well, at least you admit it. But, but... Hello? Hello? Sorry. Next week, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, no worries, yeah. Relax, will you? Oh, take that look off your face, Hayley. You're not my boss, remember? I have to look at junkies first thing on a Sunday morning. And what's that supposed to mean? I know what you're doing. I'm not doing anything. I saw you. What you imagine you saw? Have you any proof? You haven't said this to Jair, have you? Not yet. She'll soon put manners on you. Well, it'll be your word against mine, and Jair knows you don't like me. You could be making up anything. My advice, keep your mouth shut and mind your own business. Benny, yo, are we still okay for this afternoon? Lovely. Am I still picking you up or are you going to? Benny, I have to go. I'll talk to you later. What's the story? handing in my notice. Two weeks. What? Why? Because last night in the Jacks, two young ones were snorting coke. And when I asked them to stop, they told me to go talk to my boss. Because that's who they bought it from. Are you joking me? You think it's me? How dare you? Well, you're the boss. Aiden. They think Aiden is the boss. But you knew about it. I found out, same as you. It's horrible. And does Jer know? No. She wouldn't stand for it. Well, then tell her so that she can get rid of him. I can't get in touch with her, all right? She's not answering her phone. Right, well, then call the guards. And say what? It's his word against mine. I'll deal with her. Two weeks, Haley. And if he's still here, I'm gone. Did you sleep out there? Yeah. But you should have had this. Ah, the sofa was fine. Will we go out for breakfast? You don't have much in the fridge. Uh, I have to get to work. On a Sunday? Oh, yeah. The garage never sleeps. It's stupid you work in there. You were a great nurse. Yeah, well, it's only for a while. Don't worry about it. Come in. Did you sleep on the sofa? I did. Phoebe had the bed. It's ridiculous. What do you want? First of all, drop the attitude. I shouldn't have said what I did. Only because I overheard. No, because it wasn't fair to your father. Like you suddenly care about him. Well, I care about you. But you want me to keep away from Dad? Oh, I have an idea. Why don't you go and tell the guys that Dad's hitting me? I mean, if you're making up crap, go for it. Hey, don't speak to your mother like that. Look, she just doesn't want you here in case I... What? I try to get her on my side? Something like that. <sighs> I did bad things. There's no excuses. So don't feel sorry for me. But you're not bad. But I have brought trouble to a lot of people, including you. And I don't want to bring any more. Now, you have this scholarship. You have to go back. And I'm sorry, OK? What, is that it? Everything's fine? Actually, I'm not having this conversation. You need to get back to France. Let's go. You can't tell me what to do. Yes, I can. I'm your mother. I want to stay for the trial. Oh, Phoebe. There is no trial. It's not deciding whether he's innocent or guilty. He's guilty. He goes, he admits what he's done, and takes whatever punishment. Now, let's go. Look, can you put that down? It's mine. Is this everything? Can you put it down? Yes, yes. it is. Let's go. <clears throat> you need someone to speak up for you. You can't stay here. I'm talking to my dad. Look, look in the pair of you just stop. Dad. No, love. Enough. Can you both just leave me in peace? Try 
by phone and Jerry again last night. That's still no answer. That's really weird, but I mean, did she decide to disappear? Is she ever coming back? I don't know. Do we? Do you think she's okay? I mean, I wouldn't. Don't go paranoid, I mean. Isn't it bad enough without you starting to imagine things? You did want the double espresso, right? Yeah, thanks. I need a bit of a boost. I'm a little bit tired. Are you okay? I'm coming down with something? Yeah, I'll be fine. Come here. Did you rearrange the stuff in the cupboard? I have no idea what that means. <laughs> the kitchen cupboard. Someone moved a can. Apparently, it's a big deal. Not a can. Everything. It's all changed. Everything. Do you have, like, some kind of system? No, I don't have a system. I'm not obsessive. But, like, I know where things are. Well, I told you. It's not me. Well, it wasn't me. Maybe it was Alex. Why would he? Why would I? Maybe Alex wanted to take his favourite can of whatever to this language school in case the food there is crap and he moved things. So give him a call. I'm not going to call him about that. No, but it must have been him. They hardly rearranged themselves now, did they? Pearl. Don't even start. I told you. I can't help you. What do you mean you won't? Look, I'm sorry, but maybe you know someone who can persuade Aiden to disappear for good. Persuade? Yeah, you know what I mean. Leave me alone. Look, I won't mention you. Just give me a name. Leave me alone. Can I come in? Why? Please. Right, you have two minutes. I did say to Wayne that he owed me a favour and that it would be great if he got Ray to sign off on the lessons. So Wayne got it right then? The words, but not the tone. I wasn't serious. I'm your mother's life. I may be a chancer, but I'm not two-faced. And I get that not everyone gets me sense of humour. But I thought Wayne would see I was only messing. Please, Arla. Couldn't he have misunderstood? Well, he was stressed about the whole Ray thing, so if you said something, even in fun... But you was. I could see how he could jump to conclusions. Exactly. That's what he did. OK, then. I believe you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Is Wayne here? I'll explain. No, no, no. I'll explain. It'll be better coming from me. Thank you. OK. See ya. Bye. Phoebe, how are you? Phoebe. Hi. Get on your laptop and check flights back to France for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. Go. Hi. You're Phoebe. You're friends with Alex. I'm Juliet. Mondo's my dad, going out with Melanie. Yeah, isn't Alex away somewhere for a week? Some course? A language thing, yeah. Are you not at school with him? I'm on a sort of break. Me too. So she wants to speak up for him. Well, I thought he was going to admit to everything. Was he changing his story, telling her lies? Actually, he said it was all true. He took the blame in front of her, in front of me. And now I'm the one she hates. Oh, come on, she doesn't hate you. What was I thinking? Saying I was going to lie about Will. I'm not trying to protect her. She doesn't believe that, though. But she will. Look, the thing is, is to try and get to the other side of this with the least amount of damage possible. Yeah, everyone's trying their best. Even Will, apparently. See you back again. Hey, Jane. Hey. The stranger startling? Um, no. What do you say? You don't want that interest in happening? Huh? I certainly don't, anyway. Can I get you something to... What's up? Has Lee said anything to you? About us? I don't know. Um, you seem a bit down, don't you think? Down? You know, anxious, in on himself. Have you not noticed? No, you seem fine. So he had a bunch of cash last week from an investor for this app thing he's doing. Yeah. The thing is, he doesn't seem all that happy about it. Do you talk to him? Build his plans, his business? Not really. Look, Lee, 
talks big, right? big ideas, big ambitions, always wants it now. Maybe doesn't put in the hard work, but he's a good lad. So? You know, just look out for him. He's your bro. <laughs> Asking me if I knew any heavies that'd come and get aid and a beaten. Ah, oh, no. Tell him to cop on, will you? He doesn't want to get involved in that world, all right? That world came to us. He thinks that he can solve our problem by giving us a dig in the head. So he goes and he finds someone that can do that. Then he has to pay him. Then he needs money. Then he's in that world. Then he's out of his debt. Cut your losses. Call the guards. I can't. What else have you got? <laughs> Good luck. What I heard is that your dad and his boyfriend had a row and then he hit him. Something like that. Mm. Obviously, he shouldn't have done that. Look, I really don't want to talk about it. Mm. No, but, I mean, I could see how it would happen. So of my ma's boyfriends, I wouldn't mind hitting. The jury would let me off, no problem. See, that's the thing. No one's taken his side. People don't listen. They make their mind up and there you go. They do. Do you know Alex's mom? Yeah. No, but I mean, do you like no know, know her? Do you like chat her and stuff? Not that much. I think she is OCD. She has this thing with the cans of food being arranged in the cupboard. If one's out of place, she goes mental. I told her it wasn't me, but she doesn't believe me. That's what I'm saying. People make their mind up. Look, I have to go. What? I have to go. Bye. Here we go. Cheers. This is nice, isn't it? Sorry, what are we doing? I'm chatting with Beyond Flea. You're chatting with Jared Flea. Right. How's the uh, courier wrap thing going? Right. Yeah, getting there. I'd say the money helped. From that investor. That all goes into what? Research and stuff. This guy, uh, your tech guy, what's his name? Elliot. Huh? Good, is he? Yeah? Ah, come on, Lee, give me a break, will you? I'm your dad, I can see it. But this guy, Elliot, you know, can you trust him? What are you on about? All that computer stuff, I don't know anything about it, do you? Why you could be doing that? Takes the money, buys a few buns, twills a few wires. Why you ask me that? Just because you're honest doesn't mean everybody else is. <sighs> Elliot's sound. And yeah, you're right. It's taken longer than I thought it would. Yeah, well, you know, it'll all work out. Just hang in there. Just any time you want to talk to me, just don't bother, you know? Thanks, Dad. Coffee! Get out. Can we not let bygones be bygones? That photo with Jack, what kind of a sick mind does that? What photo? I'd be scared if you weren't so stupid. And you stay away from me. That way no one gets hurt. <laughs> am I supposed to be scared now, am I? Except like I said, you're too stupid to know it. But you'll screw up. Someone's gonna clock what you're doing in McCoy's. And what's that supposed to mean? If someone says something to you, spreading rumours, spreading lies, don't go shooting your mouth off because no one will believe you. Jerry Monk. Jerry? Guards are running. That photo your kid was fake. Don't make it become real. What did you say? What did you say? You heard me. Right, you have two choices. You either walk out of here right now, or I'm gonna have you put in hospital. I'd like to see it. No, oh. you wouldn't believe me. Everything all right, Carol? This guy bothering you? No, he's not bothering me, Anto. He was just leaving, aren't you? You heard her. Stay out of this. Why don't you make me? Lee, tell your dad to relax. Dad, but... Why are you listening to him? You're all right, Anto. What was all that about? <sighs> just didn't want to make me bear. What do you mean? 
Drinks anyway. What were you doing? I'm just calming things down, right? Avoiding the row. I'm not going back. Listen to me. Not until this trial is over. I keep telling you, it's not a trial. So you're just going to stand up and take the blame? Yes. So you're accepting what everyone is saying about you? That's not fair. Look, Phoebe. Look, people make their minds up before they even know anything about you. OK, but I know you. And I know you're not the bad person that everyone says you are. And someone should say that. Phoebe, you can't be here. All right, you have to go back to school. The scholarship, we agreed. I didn't. And you just went along with Mum. Because she's right. It's like you don't even have a say in things anymore. It's like you don't matter. I don't. You matter to me. And don't I matter to you? More than anything in the world. Then I'm staying here for this... <sighs> Arraignment. And I'm staying here. Fine. All right. Got that sorted, have you? Yeah, the ones we should use first are at the front, yeah. Fantastic. Alex didn't move them. Well, you called him. To see how he was doing, and I brought it up. It wasn't him. A burglar. One that breaks in and rearranges the cupboards. An OCD burglar. Somebody messing? Why would anybody? Maybe it was a ghost. Oh, don't say that. Seriously. Well, you believe in ghosts? Of course not. Just don't be talking about them. Because it'll get them angry. They might start cleaning the fridge next. <laughs> it's not funny. Is this some kind of weird Armenian thing? Juliet, knock it off, will you? So, how is he doing, Alex? Yeah, he's having a good time. It's great to get the cage back, if only for a week. Yeah, I'm sure Alex feels the same about a real bed, if only for a week. Speaking of which, you might like to tidy your room. What's wrong with it? <laughs> it's a mess. It's not. And don't be going into my room. I wasn't. The door was open. I looked in. It's a mess. That's the way I like it. Uh, do you want to go for a drink? No. Why not? Sure. Five minutes. What? Your bedroom. It's fine. Just keep the door closed and everybody will be happy. Or I could tell her it's haunted. <laughs> Joking. Yeah, he said he was. And you believed him? Yes, I did. I certainly don't think he was. Well, Bosco said that not everybody gets a sense of humor. That's because you caught him out, OK? And, and, and he played it off like he was just joking. And he, he wants you to think that he's a decent guy. But I'm telling you now, he's not. Well, I think he is a nice guy. I'm entitled to my opinion. Yes, I know you are. But I happen to think that you are wrong. So, if you can't say anything nice, say nothing. <sighs> I've got better things to think about. Well, that's fine. But listen, if you are talking to him, just, you know, be civilized. Well, I can play fake too. <sighs> what? Okay, look, if you don't want to talk about it, fine, but ghosts? My great aunt Miriam saw ghosts. Her own mother, her sister who died as a child, a neighbor, and, uh, and some people she just didn't know. What? Yeah, they'd show up, stand around for a while, and then just vanish. They're kind of frightening. But was she, you know, old? She was sharp as a knife until the day she died. And the thing was, we all believed her, and it didn't bother us. It was just, oh, Auntie's chatting to her dead sister again. That's nice. Except when they frightened her, that scared everyone. So you do believe in ghosts? No. A little. I mean, come on, you must have been in places that were a bit spooky. Yeah, but not me dad's flat. OK, you know, the rearranging of the cans, you know, but that could be the, the ghost of the cleaning woman. Stop. Who worked there years ago. And who died there screaming horribly. Whoa, OK, relax. Yeah, you see, it's not so funny now, is it? Aunt Miriam, I liked her. What's mm -hmm. <laughs> No, there's a song my mum used to sing to us. It's been on my mind lately. I don't know why. Hey, hey, listen, do you have any work going here behind the bar? Do you? Yeah. Handed my notes in the McCoy's. Why? Just didn't fancy it anymore. Look, I told Haley I wouldn't talk about it, so this is strictly between me and you, okay? Yeah, of course. You know that guy, Aiden? He's selling drugs right there in the bar. And I've told Haley she needs to call the guards, but she said it's complicated, whatever that means. Maybe Jerry's part of it. No, it's him. He's a scumbag. If Jerry knew she'd send him packing. Well, anyway, I don't want to be around him anymore. 
just gives me the creeps. You'll be getting a job here isn't how you deal with it. If there's a rat in your house, you don't leave. You kill the rat. Ah, oh, thanks. Thank you. Anyway, I told him to bring it in and we'd, uh, well, I mean, you, you'd check it out. Yeah. And did it look all right? Hmm. Well, enough for him to bring it in, but, I mean, you were the expert. Ray, how's life? Oh, grand. Wayne. Bosco, did Arla tell you I called in? Yeah, to clear up that little misunderstanding. Yeah. So everything's settled, yeah? Yes. Are you sure? You seem a little hesitant. Ray, I gave Bosco a lesson in your car last week. What are you doing? Taking back control. You got stopped by the guards because your headlight was broken. Wayne, stop. And, and I was a bit nervous, and, and I panicked when they asked me who I was. I, I said it was you. Oh, Wayne. Thanks, Wayne. Dad, are you going to jail? Well, that's why I'm pleading guilty. If I do that and I apologize and I pay Chris some money, there's a good chance I'll get a suspended sentence. But you might. Well, I'm trying not to think about that. Now, you need to call your mother. But you might. Phoebe, call her out. Hi. I was expecting you back by now. I'm staying here tonight. Phoebe. And I'm staying here to this thing on Wednesday. You most certainly are not. Let me talk to your dad. You can't make me go. Uh, he can't make me go either, OK? He tried, but I'm staying. Hold on a minute. What is that? She says she's staying for the arraignment. But... Uh, what? What are you going to do? Storm over there and haul her out and then force her on a plane to France? Look, it's, it's, baby, it's just for a couple of days. Phoebe. Fine. Good. But when this is all done, you're on the first flight straight back to France. We need to get rid of him. You're going to help? Yeah. What made you change your mind? Robbie would want me to. He has a separate phone for dealing. I'm on it with a bunch of other scumbags. Then you have to get the phone. That wasn't so bad. Nobody died. Ray, you won't pass your test. Now, see, I don't agree with you. Out swanning around like nothing happened. To show everybody what a normal guy you are. Father daughter lunch. That's not fair. He's using you. Hey! hey. And let's go on your bike. On your bike. Yes. 